hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel and in this video today we are going to solve and this particular equation here this particular problem here that is 10 inverse of cos x divided by 1 plus sin x and we have to reduce it into the simplest possible form um, so that uh, we can kind of come to a conclusion but before i proceed with the solution and, and solve this question stepwise here let me request you to please 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 subscribe to our youtube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time. So let's start with the solution. So here we have 10 inverse of cos x upon 1 plus sin x. Now the starting thought for this particular problem here is that we need to kind of figure out a known formula which can be directly put in the numerator as well as the denominator. Unfortunately, in the given question, none of the formulas can be directly substituted so the very first step is that we have to kind of uh, modify the question with the known uh, properties of angles and quadrant systems. So the very first hint that I'm getting is that I really don't have a formula for 1 plus sin x. But what I do have is a formula for uh, let's say 1 minus cos x or 1 plus cos x. So for example 1 minus cos x gives uh, me the formula for 2 sin square x. But the problem here is that we have sin x here and so we need to figure out a way where sin x and cos x can be sin x can be converted into cos x. So for this the next hint that comes to my mind is that sin of 90 minus theta is basically cos theta. So this is the starting hint that we will be using in this question and this becomes our very first step that we will apply in the numerator as well as the denominator here. So here we have cos x, let's say. So in place of cos x, I can simply write sine of 90 plus x. So this gives me the overall value of cos x. Similarly, the, this sine x here can be represented as cos of, now this, if I make this as pi by 2 plus x, it will generate a negative value. But in the question, it is positive in nature. So I'll have to adjust this with another negative sign here. So now this question is modified wherein I can apply all the known and the conventional formulas for trigonometry uh, that is the inverse trigonometry. So let's straight away start the solution here. So this becomes 10 inverse. Okay, so here we have sine of uh, pi by 2 plus x. Now the formula that I have of sine 2x, let me write somewhere here. Uh, okay, we have a space there. So the formula for sine 2x is basically 2 sin x into multiplied by cos x. But here the value of sine does not encompass uh, a coefficient of 2. That means I'll have to divide both the angles by 2 here. So in place of x, I basically have pi by 2 plus x. So if I divide the angle by 2, this entire bracket gets divided by 2. So this becomes 2 sine of pi by 4 plus x by 2 multiplied by cos of pi by 4 plus x by 2 here. And now we can kind of substitute the values of denominator as well. So the formula that I have for 1 minus cos of 2 theta or 2x is 2 sine square x. So if I divide this value of x by 2 and divide this on the other side as well, so this formula modifies as 1 minus cos x can be written as 2 sine square x by 2. So we'll apply the same logic in this angle as well, where if the angle is divided by 2, the, this entire angle that is pi by 2 plus x will get divided by 2. So this will become 2 sine square pi by 4 plus x upon 2. Clearly we can cancel out the 2 from here and sine pi by 4 plus x by 2 is repeating in this case. So this can entirely be cancelled out. So all that we are left with is 10 inverse of cos pi upon 4 plus x upon 2 here. So this now has been reduced to a significantly uh, small form. Oh sorry, this is not cos, that will, this will be cot because we have a sign left. So cos upon sign will become cot. 
Now we do know um, of an identity for inverse trigonometry where tan inverse and cot inverse are uh, kind of related to each other. So this can be written as tan inverse of tan pi by 2 minus pi by 4 plus x upon 2. So basically the formula that I have used here is that tan inverse of 90 minus theta is cot inverse theta. This is the identity that I have used here to convert cot inverse into tan so that it can be cancelled out from this tan inverse which is situated outside. Now this tan and this tan will get uh, kind of balanced out or they will cancel each other. So all we are left with is pi by 2 minus pi by 4 minus x upon 2. And on solving this we get the value final value as pi by 4 minus x upon 2. So this my friend here is the final answer for this problem. So let me request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel and I hope that you really like this video. Thanks for watching.